Harrison Wamnisho. Six years ago, I was locked up behind bars in Kirikiri prisons, Apapa, Lagos, Nigeria. I was accused for conspiracy. Hello, my beautiful people. I greet the full house from Otoshibo Mama. Also, I did fine. When I do well, so I take the help to the share, comment, like. God will bless so na. I really appreciate so na well well. My people, this one a true life story of this our brother now Noah. Harrison, I be in human rights. It there for Facebook for there. So he remember what he happened six years ago. What he happened to her. I then tell accuser of uh, many things. I will put the video more now watch her. Now no say sometimes when something go happen for your life, eh? When you go maybe eh, na today or na yesterday happen, you can't see the life where you they live now. Can't see the life where you fell live before. What it happened to you, no? So now they see this video now. Now see I'm saying they cry because now joy, now cry of joy, now in the cry for year. But he talk many things as well as they tell accuser as it's a day for prison. That was 2015. As they tell free and they tell a day for court, you know. So when he can't come out, he can't they look for a job. Now no say as he be. Once they know, say you just come out for a cycle, they they not agree to give you job. Eh? Even though say now he no said now you take go. It they hard before they go. You go see person where go help you. So he can't thank God for his life for after everything where he don't pass through. Say this one I like so he not believe it. I say if maybe instinct there for inside that kiri kiri, he not know as his life go be. It's not normal thing, my people. Because if they accuse you for what you not do, you get a CB. Me, I put the video more than here, what he happened. Built on just a God just come and shine his light upon me and set me free. 30th November 2015, I was brought out from the cell, says six country, no father, no mother, Ogwashiku prison, Ayuko City. They brought me out from the cell, they chained my leg as usual. To prevent us from escaping because they have to protect you, chain you, and cuff you so you won't escape from prison custody. They led me into the Green Maria and they took me to High Court Files, Asaba, headed by Justice Mabel Omofi. At the courts, they led me to the dock and 
the judge ordered for my case file. And she went through my case. For 30 minutes, she was going through my case file and she was writing. Then what I heard was Harrison is hereby discharged. And that was how I left prison. After prison, I was in the street of Asaba, looking for job, driving job to do, and nobody was ready to employ me. Who will employ someone that was accused for armed robbery, attempted murder, possession of firearms? Who will employ such a person? The stigma was huge. Like it was all over my body. It was, it was, it, it, it was covering my face. Nobody was ready to employ me. I, I went everywhere looking for jobs. No, nobody was ready to employ me. Until God showed his way. I applied for a program, Mandela Washington Fellowship Program. I applied for once. I was selected. I, I received a mail. Congratulations, you have been selected. They gave me a time, a date for interview and venue. And I, I left Asaba to Potakot. I went for the interview and I passed the interview. Another me I received again was for me to travel to Abuja for my visa. They booked the flight for me for the first time out of jail for my whole life, entire life. I've never seen a, a plane. I entered a, a plane from Asaba to Abuja. All expense paid by the U.S. Department of State. IREX, and I was taken to the U.S. Embassy where I went for my visa interview. I left Nigeria to the United States of America, so it was prison to Washington D.C. So I don't know what's the challenge. Right now, I don't know what could be the situation you are passing through right now. I have been there. I was trampled upon. I was humiliated. I was rejected. I was a nobody. But out of the prison, I saw myself in the United States of America, where I never thought in my life I would be. I went there, all expense paid. I didn't pay a dime. So, 30th of November is my day. Today is my day. I want to give you hope. Let my story touch you. Let my story be a motivation for you. All hope is not lost. There's still hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. No matter the situation you are facing right now, let my story motivate you. Let my story inspire you. For the past six years I've left prison. I have stood against police brutality. I have stood against intimidation. I have stood against oppression. And this has been my pledge to fight till the end. Because I get coconut head. <laughs>